is essential for the aquarium hobby. Cactoily. Dude, what are you doing? Celsius, Fahrenheit, Salvini, Cichlid. This thing's gonna be awesome. Here is just doing great. 27.3. Don't worry, big. I got your food, buddy. And then the probe, right on point. Coexisting with each other. Cactoily. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. And does your boy have a banging video for you guys? I'm super excited to introduce to you this product that I feel, in my opinion, is essential for the aquarium hobby. And I'm going to say one magic word. Let me know if you guys know what this word means. Cactoily. Cactoily. Say it with me. Cactoily. I think that's how you say it. And if I killed that name or butchered it, my bad. Uh, let's flip this camera around and get into it. And here it is, my Ohana in this white sleek box. See, look at, look at the card right here. Cactoily. I think I said that right. Cactoily. K-A-C-T-O-I-L-Y. Cactoily is the six-in-one aquarium water quality monitor. So this thing is actually going to show us our water quality from an LCD screen, and I can't wait to use this. This thing's gonna be awesome. Here you go. This is the display screen, and I believe this looks like the probe that's gonna be inside the aquarium. All right, let's unpack everything, and I'll show you what comes in the box. All right, so this is what comes right out of the box. You got your display monitor here. You have an extension cord here. You have your probe. You have a 5VIA and USB type C. You have your connector that goes into the wall. We're gonna connect this into each other. You have suction cups, I believe for your probe. We have magnets right here for the display on the outside of the aquarium. And then we have our calibration packets of powder to calibrate the probe. Just so you know, the aquarium water quality monitor comes pre-calibrated right out of the box and it is recommended to recalibrate it every six months, but it is ready to go right out of the box, plug and play, which we absolutely love. The monitor has a modular design, so users can change the probe when needed. Its power supply plug is powered right here by a 5V, 1A, and USB type C. That are these two right here that's going to give the power this right here i'm telling you guys could be a game changer in the hobby for some of us uh, especially me the cactoily six in one aquarium water quality tester can accurately measure ph tds which is total dissolved solids ec which means electrical conductivity salinity percentage temperature and specific gravity these are the six different water quality categories and the data will display on the color LCD screen at the same time. So there's no need to switch screen. You can see it clearly and intuitively understand the parameters and protect your fish in time, all weather monitoring so you can rest easy. This is an industrial grade probe. So it has a longer life to calibrate. It's pretty easy. Like I said, inside the box comes with the packets of calibration powder it's pretty easy, you just add a certain amount of water, you mix the solution in, it's super easy. But like I said, you don't have to calibrate it for another six months because it comes out of the box pre-calibrated. So you're good to go right out of the box. Also, unscrew the protective cover of the probe clockwise. There is a protective liquid inside that can be replenished with pure water. So if you're not gonna use the probe for a while, just replenish with pure water and cap it back on. But it also says display host is not waterproof. So please do not put in the water. This is the screen, the LCD screen. So this isn't waterproof. Clearly this goes on the outside of the aquarium. This is in the inside. So let's go ahead and unscrew this little protective liquid. All right, I think I might have said clockwise. You unscrew it counterclockwise and then the probe, protective probe will come off. And remember, if you're gonna store the probe, put fresh water in this and then screw it in clockwise for storage. Next thing we're gonna do is flip the probe to the backside and put on the little suction cups. There we go. 
All right, so it should look like this. Right after we attach the two suction cups, it says attach the magnet sticker to the back of the screen. So we just peeled off the magnet sticker and we're gonna stick it right there to the back along with the two suction cups. This is what's going to keep our monitor on the outside of our screen. I get it, yeah. And then it says attach the metal plate to the outside of the aquarium where you want to fix the display. And that's what this is. All right, so basically we're gonna do the same thing but to the display. So I'm going to peel this little piece of paper off the back side of the magnet. There you go, just like so. And then we're gonna place it on the back of the display I would say right about there press tight get a nice firm grip on that bad boy now as far as the probe goes it does have the connector and an extension so if you have an aquarium that is deep water level you can use the extension I don't think I'm gonna use the extension I think I'm just going to go straight into the tank and so what we can do is we just plug this right into here like so and we just screw it in until it's nice and snug make sure that bad boy is in and we are good to go so this is what it looks like so it'll sit in the aquarium like this and then you can kind of you know regulate it and you can see how it will stick to the glass as well as the suction cups as well so let's go ahead and Put it in the aquarium and I'm going to kind of place it to where it's out of the way but this is just going to give you a general idea of how you stick everything on together just so you have a visual we have that metal plate magnet on the outside of the glass and then your display will just magnetize to that and then we also have the probe if you can see I don't know if you guys can see it because of the glare but it's in the inside of the aquarium I had it off to the side right here uh, that way I can walk by and just check it uh, from this angle instead of it being on the outside of the aquarium this is my six foot aquarium as you can see everybody in here is just doing great we'll get into these guys in a second but back to the action here so we're gonna go ahead as you can see display is off we're gonna plug it in, it's a nice magnet too. Uh, I believe the cord is four feet, so you got four feet of cord. We're gonna plug it in right here at the top. Whammo, this bad boy fires up. Look at that, wow, it's already reading. We gotta calibrate the uh, temperature. Right here is the temperature, see where it says 27.3? That is Celsius, we have to go into Fahrenheit, so. I'm going to try to do that without even looking at the manual. I did read a little bit of the manual, uh, but let's see here. We'll go here, hit this middle screen here. There we go. And then it says to set the pH, EC, temperature. There we go. Uh, I believe to go down would be maybe hit it again. Yes. You hit the middle button again. Temperature set. This is to enter it. Oh, there we go. Units. Celsius. Fahrenheit. Let's go... Uh, I guess we have to go down. Let's do, there we go. I think that's where we go. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Maybe we hit this again. And we change it. Oh, there it is. And we change it to... There we go. Fahrenheit. This is all real time, guys. Okay. Okay, we check it. We're good. And then we're out. Hey, I think we did it. Ah, uh, look at 81 degrees. 81.1 degrees. And let me show you what my monitor here... This is my Heiger heater, 81, 80.9. So you already know it's spot on with the temperature. Let's go ahead and put this back up here. I like that. All right, the Cactoily is in full effect. My Ohan, look at that screen, it's beautiful. It almost looks fake. It doesn't even look like a real screen. So these are my readings. Now, a lot of people will, you know, not necessarily put this um, on their aquarium or on the outside of the aquarium, I'm going to do it because it doesn't bother me. But if you have like a sump, a lot of people, especially in the salt water world, will put it in their sump or even in their freshwater sump. Just so you guys know, you do not have to have this on the outside of the aquarium. I'm merely showing you guys what it looks like and it doesn't look that bad. I mean, look at the temperature. We're gonna talk about accuracy first. 81.1 degrees, right? That is right there in the middle to the right middle right 81.1 fahrenheit and look at my temperature on my heater here 81 degrees so you know 
this bad boy is right on point, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. It was easy to hook up, uh, and I'm not a savvy guy when it comes to being techy and all that, so pretty much like I said, plug and play. It's used in salt water, fresh water, fish tanks, aquariums, hydroponic systems, drinking water, swimming pools, aquaculture, etc. Understand whether your water quality is in perfect range and improve it in time according to the instructions to help prevent the water quality hazard from harming the fish and leading to the loss of fish. And this is just an extra security for you guys. Starting at the top left, the yellow circle where it says 0.03%, that is the salinity percentage. And to the right of that, is the specific gravity. So as far as my salinity goes, it's 1.000. With a saltwater aquarium, I would probably want it to be like 1.23, 1.24, right in that range. As we go to the middle, right down here where it says 8.21, that is my pH level. 8.21, is it high? Definitely high, but I do have two big pieces of driftwood in here too as well. So um, as long as you don't chase pH, there's a lot of people out there that'll chase the pH levels. When it comes to pH, I always say, don't try to chase it to try to find the perfect pH. Um, I found just from experience that if you stay consistent on your water changes, fish love consistency. Uh, to raise the levels naturally, you can always perform water changes. You can add crushed coral. A lot of us know that, especially with African cichlids. Uh, you can increase the aeration or you can use baking soda. That's what a lot of people will use. And to lower the pH, you can filter the water through PMOS. You could pump carbon dioxide in the water or you can add driftwood like I have in my tank. Um, but yeah, the recommended range for fresh water as far as pH goes is 6.5 to 7.8. And as you can see, ooh, I'm an 8.21 for pH levels. But I've never had any fatalities in this aquarium. All of my South American and Central American cichlids are healthy. I haven't lost anybody. Look at my Jack Dempsey right here just staring at me like, dude, what are you doing? Are you going to feed us? Or what are you doing? Are you making a video? Look at my Turkana Jewel cichlids my rainbow cichlids, look at them all. They're doing great, everybody. Even my redhead Tapajos, Geo Vegas, they're all doing good. My red shoulders, look at my red shoulder, my tiger stripe, Severums, they're all doing good in here. My electric blue Akara, he's just chilling. They're actually waiting for food. We'll give them a little feeding though. Uh, but yeah, just really try not to chase the pH levels. As you can see, my pH level is 8.21, it's really high, but I stay consistent on water changes. Matter of fact, I just did a water change uh, yesterday, a 50% water change. Okay, next up, we're gonna talk about that lower left-hand circle, uh, the pink or red, depending on how you're looking at it. That is the TDS, or total dissolved solids. The higher the value of TDS, the more dissolved substances in the water. TDS and EC, which stands for electrical conductivity, are highly correlated and EC can be deduced from TDS data. If the TDS is too low, the water may lack essential trace elements. While if the TDS is too high, the water may be too dense for the fish to breathe and grow. So don't worry, you're probably saying, what in the hell does that mean? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It means you want that number to be kind of in a certain range and it does give you a recommended range. The recommended range is 150 to 500 ppm, which is parts per million. And as you can see, we are at 338 parts per million. So we're sitting like right in the middle there. So I like that. And then as far as this bottom right blue circle goes, where's my finger, there it is. That one there, that is the electrical conductivity right there. We're sitting at 676. I don't know if that's for like some high level coral keeping stuff, but the electrical conductivity, I don't even mess with that. I have never messed with that. And therefore I'm not gonna preach to you guys on what it is. I mainly have this controller 
to basically watch my PPMs or the TDS. And I'm not really worried about the salinity, obviously. I am worried about the temperature and my pH. So these three categories here, the 8.21, the 81.1, this is so accurate right out of the box. And then my parts per million, my TDS. That is 338 for fresh water. That's what I'm kind of looking at. Now, if I had it in my salt water, I'd be looking at the pH and my salinity percentage. Uh, that's what I'd be looking at. And of course, obviously the uh, temperature. So it does give really good results. I mean, Cactoily, you guys killed it on this one. Now, I got to give a huge shout out to Cactoily, the entire family, because they did send me this and I wanted to do a product review and give my honest opinion on it. Would I buy this? Absolutely, I would buy this. This is awesome. You can check it by just walking by. Like I said, a lot of people will have it in their sumps. So if you wanted to, you can open up your door, look in your sump, um, you know, wherever you keep your filtration. It just depends on how your whole setup is. Mine here on the outside of the aquarium, as you can see, it was super easy. Right there, it comes with a magnet and it just sticks to the side of the aquarium and I have it at the corner. So if I need to look at it, I can just come on by, creep by, just grab it, look at it okay we're good and then go about my way now it does come with the calibration powder packets like i said it comes with a couple extra suction cups which is cool because we all know in the hobby these suction cups kind of suck after a while right i think that's why they call them suction cups we got an extension uh if you want to you know actually need more cord for the extension and it comes with three more extra metal plates to glue on to the aquarium on the outside if you want to change placement of the display so that's what it comes with extra in the box. I'll put that back in the box. Um, yeah, and save it. Now, as you can see, every single fish in here is doing great. We have green terror, we have severums, we have rainbow cichlids, we have Turkana jewel cichlids, we have redhead tapajo, geo vegas, beautiful Jack Dempsey cichlid, beautiful Salvini cichlid right there. She's actually getting big. I call her Cindy Crawford. Don't ask why, it's a long story, all right? but she's doing good. Um, I think the reason why I have so many different cichlids that are coexisting with each other inside this aquarium, which is six foot, 125 gallon. Oh, we can't forget Big. Big is my long fin Oscar. He just kind of sits here lazy. Don't worry though, bud. I'm gonna give you a new home and you're gonna love it. He's just, I don't know why he always does this. He sits in the corner. As soon as I put food in though, you'll see him swim around looking for food. So don't worry, look at my red shoulder severum. Absolutely beautiful. But the reason why I think they're coexisting in this aquarium is just the setup. A lot of hides, you can see big piece of uh, driftwood there. We have some plants in the front and the back in between another big piece of driftwood there. So I think there's a lot of line of breaks of sight in the aquarium so the aggression stays low but like i said it's always a crapshoot you're always rolling the dice when you're dealing with aggressive cichlids and i know this salvini cichlid once he or she gets older can be a nuisance i know the green terror can be a nuisance right now i want to say the green terror is the tank boss and then of course we got to keep our eye on the jack dempsey uh, but so far, so good. Yeah, don't let these little guys fool you too. These Turkana jewel cichlids, beautiful red. Don't let those little guys fool you. They're super territorial and uh, they will definitely run the tank too. But I actually put those fish in last so they didn't really have enough time to establish any territory inside the aquarium. And as far as all the severums go, the, these guys are extremely docile. They'll only get aggressive if they're mating like these two in the back. I think they're mating. This is Vanilla Ice and Madonna. Let's throw in some food. So we'll give you guys kind of a variety of pellets, small pellets, medium-sized pellets. As you can see, the party has just begun. Look at Big will come over here. Don't worry, Big. I got your food, buddy. Don't worry, man. So Big will come over here, acting like he's going to eat all these little tiny pellets, which he still kind of does. But I have some nice bigger carnivore sinking pellets for him he likes his uh hikari sinking carnivore pellets but you know as long as you keep these guys happy and and fed but not only that though um you know keeping them in an aquarium with lots of hides and the setup that i'm using right now it seems like it's working here i'm going to drop some sinking pellets for big Right here, as you can see, the pellets will go down and you'll see him 
There he goes. He starts starts gobbling him up. Yep. Just like a hummingbird, baby. <laughs> and then, of course, the bigger cichlids will come over and try to get, you know, some of the bigger pellets. And they'll get their fair dose, but everybody in here is doing great. Everybody's in here is doing great. Now, don't go anywhere. So my people over at Cactoily got together with me to give you guys, the Ohana, a huge discount code. It is Ohana Save 20. All right? It's right there, okay? Write it down. All of their links will be down in the description below. A direct link will go straight to Amazon. Right now, it's 20% off, but you will get an additional 20% off with Ohana Save 20. So that's 40 percent off almost half off for this awesome aquarium water quality monitor okay now i've seen these monitors or these water quality monitors like maybe five six times more expensive than the one that they have here at cactoily so big shout out to cactoily i really appreciate it thank you so much i wish i asked for two so i can put one on my saltwater aquarium and show you guys the salinity and temperature and ph levels on my saltwater aquarium Maybe I'll hit them up, or maybe if they see this video, they'll hook your boy up. Other than that, my Ohana, I hope you guys learned a little something. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, much love, and aloha.